Abe, the Orange Osceola state attorney took to the podium announcing the charges she plans to file against the man accused of the Pine Hills neighborhood murders, Keith Moses. State attorney Monique Worrell also provided more details on Moses' criminal history with specifics on his arrest as a teenager. West 2's Marley Martinez is live in the studio now to explain how his charges could likely be upgraded. State attorney Monique Worrell says tomorrow she plans to file three second degree murder charges against Keith Moses. She explained that first First degree murder can only happen after a grand jury hearing, which hasn't happened yet, but will at some point. So since charges have to be filed within the next week, she's filing second degree murder charges to keep Moses in jail. And we have more time. For the first time, we're hearing from state attorney Monique Worrell what exactly happened when accused Pine Hills killer Keith Moses was arrested when he was 14 and 15. According to these arrest reports, Moses was arrested twice when he and other people broke into unoccupied vehicles and stole stuff. In the third case, he was arrested as a passenger in a stolen vehicle. And the last, a robbery and battery arrest. Although Mr. Moses participated in this robbery, Mr. Moses was not the individual who held the firearm during the commission of the robbery. It's important because facts matter. I know they don't matter to the governor and I know they don't matter to the senator and sometimes they don't matter to the sheriff, but facts do matter. We don't know the outcome of those juvenile cases since that's confidential under state law. Worrell's comments come after Sheriff John Mina, Senator Rick Scott and Governor Ron DeSantis. These prosecutors need to take this seriously. Scrutinize the suspect's long criminal history. Last week, the governor launched a review of the state attorney's office, requesting all records on Keith Moses in the name of justice. The state attorney says this is an attempt to suspend her. I have been made aware that the governor's office has been interviewing local law enforcement, that the two sheriffs who serve this uh, county have been working with the governor to try to build a case for suspension against me. Worrell also questioned the governor's focus on only her office. In 2021, records show Keith Moses was arrested with other people for suspicion of marijuana possession. The state attorney's office did not prosecute that case because of the amount found, but a gun was also found. In an email, the Orange County Sheriff's Office admits they did not test the gun for DNA at that time. If the sheriff would have liked to see that case prosecuted, then his deputy should have conducted the DNA warrants as he said he was going to and had the gun in that incident tested and then presented charges for prosecution to my office. Our job is to prosecute cases, not to investigate them and provide us with our own charges for prosecution. I asked the governor's office if they will be reviewing the sheriff's office. They did not reply to that question. I also asked the sheriff's office why the gun was not tested in the 2021 case. They say it appears that the patrol deputy did not obtain the DNA warrants and they're still looking into why. In a statement, they add Sheriff Mina has had no conversations with the governor or the governor's office about building a case to remove state attorney Worrell. That statement is categorically false.